According to Amish studies, the estimated population of Amish people living in North America as of May 2016 was 308,000 people. The Amish have strong beliefs on using technology in their way of life. When I was in Amish school, we visited an Amish home, and since then I have done a lot of research on the Amish lifestyle. Today I'll be talking about the Amish beliefs on technology, specifically with electricity, transportation, and electronics. Let's first take a look at the Amish beliefs on electricity. According to the Amish studies, most Amish groups forbid using electricity from public utility lines. They believe that electricity from batteries is more local and controllable, which allows them to be independent from the outside world. Some Amish settlements use batteries to power calculators, fans, flashlights, cash registers, copy machines, typewriters, and the light on their buggies. Another power source the Amish use is solar energy. They use solar energy to charge their batteries, operate electrical fences, and power household appliances. It is a huge misunderstanding that Amish do not use electricity. When entering an Amish community, people from the outside will first notice no power lines. They may not get electricity from the public utility lines like, no, like the rest of us do, but they do use a full electricity and that is a battery. That may be shocking to many Americans as to why the Amish will go to such extreme measures just to remain independent from the rest of the world. But that is just their way of life. They do not need to rely on anyone for anything. And if they use electricity from the and if they were to use electricity from the public utility lines, that would be going against their God's beliefs. Now it's time to talk about the Amish beliefs on transportation. Most Amish people do not believe in automobiles. And you will not see them driving a Ferrari, a Mustang, or a Jeep for that fact. According to Dutch crafters, the Amish use horse buggies to travel to church on Sunday and excursions to town. The buggy is the most recognizable symbol of the Amish. They believe that by using the buggies and not automobiles, it will keep them anchored down and make it harder for them to escape their customs. Foot power is the most common way to travel short distances. They'd much rather travel by foot than to hitch up their buggies. Bicycles have many purposes in the Amish way of life. Men use them to travel to work, children use them to travel to school, and they're also frequently used as recreation. The last commonly used transportation option for the Amish is to hire a non-Amish driver. The, this mode of transportation might be used for a monthly trip to the grocery store or to the workplace. This type of transportation has become so popular that in some communities, driving around the Amish has become a full-time job. As far as mass transit goes, Greyhound buses and trains are popular for long distance traveling across the country. When traveling overseas though, the Amish prefer to travel like their ancestors did, and that is by ship. The Amish people are completely against airplanes. Transportation has made Americans' lives much easier, but so have electronics. According to Discover Lancaster, the use of TVs, computers, radios, and other electronic devices are not allowed in the Amish culture. It is believed that electronics are considered tempting elements from the outside world, and that could weaken their tight-knit Amish community that they have now. It's not that the Amish are completely against any modern technology, it's just they feel they don't need all that new stuff like we Americans do. Americans see modern technology as better, and the Amish do not. If they don't see the new electronics as a necessity, they don't need it. Telephones bring up an interesting topic in the Amish community. Like automobiles, the Amish are not allowed to own one, but that does not mean they cannot use one. In an Amish community, you will notice an old-fashioned payphone booth. The reason they are not allowed to own a phone is because it is not a necessity, and they are viewed as a link to the outside world. Just like many, other, many of their other beliefs about technology, if it is not a necessity, then the Amish don't need it. Telephones were not always allowed, though. It was not until the 1950s when the Amish were allowed when the Amish are allowed to use them, but only for emergency purposes. I ask you, if you are not a part of the Amish community, just keep an open mind. If you ever get the chance to uh, go visit an Amish community, I would do so. I did in elementary school and it was a very memorable experience. By understanding other people's way of life, you become culturally diverse. And when you are culturally diverse, you will also be displaying cultural sensitivity. You may not believe in everything the Amish do, 
but you must be accepting of them. In conclusion, the Amish have strong beliefs on using technology in their way of life. Today I talk about the Amish beliefs on technology, specifically with electricity, transportation, and electronics. Now that you know more about the Amish beliefs on using technology, do you think you could live in the Amish culture for a month?